the social life of things, the anthropology of stuff, uh, the anthropology of material culture. This is a new focus in the second edition of Cultural Anthropology, a Toolkit for a Global Age. Anthropologists have a long history of looking at things and material culture and how that can help us understand people's lives in the past. And we're turning more and more to looking at contemporary uses of material culture. We're interested in the biography of things, how they're made, how they're bought, how they're used, how they're given away, collected, uh, sold. Uh, what kind of value do we give them and uh, how do we use them in our daily lives? We're also interested in how things move around the world. How are they made? How do they cross national boundaries? How do they get into a store and then into our living room? Those uh, global connections, the social life of things, reveal to us our, our sense of connection, our interconnectedness with people all around the world. In the second edition, we have a new feature, Mardi Gras beads and we feature a wonderful ethnography, an ethnographic film actually, that takes us on a journey to uh, Southeast China, to factories where Mardi Gras beads are made by uh, young women in factories, uh, produced and shipped back to uh, New Orleans and used in the revelry of Mardi Gras festivals there. And the filmmaker actually is able to take footage of the factory and show it to folks in New Orleans and uh, footage of the Mardi Gras festivities and take it back to the factories. So we're able to see how these things connect people. Uh, it reveals the inequality um, and uneven development in the global economy. And uh, we're able to see how a simple thing like a Mardi Gras bead uh, links us together all around the world.